All right, what is going on, guys? It's Frizzize, and today you guys are going to be watching another de atomizer strike gameplay, but this one is a little bit different. But before we do get into that, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button, that would be much appreciated. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, that would be much appreciated as well. If we could shoot for the like level 450 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And let's get right into it. Now, you guys are watching the luckiest de atomizer strike in infinite warfare like ever i'm not even joking with you when i say that this is the luckiest one you're ever gonna see on youtube and the reason why i say that is i was one off of this de-atomizer strike i get killed spawn back in go back to their spawn and kill somebody and i got it does that make any sense if you guys saw my video from a few days ago you guys completely understand where i'm coming from you know exactly what i'm talking about i don't understand how exactly this works but i didn't even die by a payload of, of like weapon or ability or anything like that i just died by a regular weapon right at the beginning of the game and it didn't even count as death it just said i was one off still and i got a kill and i got it so you guys are gonna see that that's literally luck like what are the odds of me dying one off of this spawn back in go to their spawn not knowing i'm one off again and clutching a kill where there's two guys just looking at me and I almost just completely failed this. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I still have a lot more de atomizer strikes saved up. I kind of just keeping them on the low. I don't really want to talk about them too much because I want to save the gameplay. And I just really want you guys to pay attention to these de atomizer strikes I'm going to be uploading in the next few days because I want you guys to learn from this. I want you guys to all get your own de atomizer strikes and kind of just pay attention to my little route I go to because. Every single map, I have a little strategy where I'm going to keep going back and forth or I'm going to stay in one area, and I just kind of go off in that certain area. Once people start catching along, I'll change it up just a little bit, and that's kind of what I like to do at, on a brand new Call of Duty. I kind of like to create my own little routes, checking their spawns, learning them a little bit more, and it works out a lot. I'm not rushing all the way around the map, and I'm not being reckless. Right here, I was being a little bit ridiculous, but I don't know. I was getting really cocky. I was, really, I was feeling really comfortable about this game. And yeah, so the class setup for this gameplay is actually the NV4 Fallout, obviously. You can only use a certain variant when going for these nuclears or these de-atomizer strikes as well. So what I have on this is I have Suppressor, Quick Draw, and Stock, I believe. Because I don't know what it is, but I just feel the need to run Quick Draw. I'm not really sure why. If you guys don't want to run Quick Draw, you can put Extended Mags or something like that. That also works as well. But I really recommend running Suppressor. Having a suppressed weapon while going for these is just so good. Because everybody's rocking UAVs. It's, a, it's just a brand new game. Everybody wants to get their score streaks. And it's just the lowest one. It's the simplest thing to get. So everybody's running it. So I decided to run a Suppressor to stay off the minimap. And then I have Stock on. Just I love running Stock on all my ARs. You guys already know me. And then my perks in this gameplay are Ghost, Dexterity, Hardline, and Hardwired. And the most important perk out of... Those four perks I just named is hardwired because you are immune to so much stuff in this game and you can't really die by anything that's like just really dumb like equipment or lethal abilities and things like that and I don't know I just find that stuff so annoying I put hardwired on and it counters almost all of it. I have hardwired or hardline excuse me on because that helps me get my UAVs a little bit faster and my counter UAVs. And I know it, it, in general, doesn't really take that long anyways, but I just like to have it even quicker. It takes three kills instead of four kills, and it's just a little bit more convenient for me. And then I have Ghost on. Once again, stay off the radar. I want to be stealthy while going for these de-atomizer strikes. And then I have Dexterity to reload my weapon fast, just in case there's a few people coming at me, and I can reload very quickly and just get right back into the action. As you guys see, I clutched it. You guys already just saw it. Um, if you didn't... You can rewind it, look back how I died, and then I spawn back in and I go get the kill. And here's me calling it in, getting like four kills, I believe. Hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. If you did, make sure to drop a like and a comment. That would be much appreciated. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Frizz Eyes, and I'm out. Peace, guys.